Um, I, I certainly understand all the perspectives that have been shared and respect all those perspectives. That being said, um, I'm not going to support the general plan amendment and I would like to um, briefly explain why I don't have um, a 30 minute PowerPoint presentation, so I won't be able to hit on every single point that's been presented, but I just like to, um, you know, basically explain a couple of reasons. I've, I've given a lot of thought to what I think is in the best interests of Oro Valley long term. And, um, and I think that it's in the best interests of Oro Valley for the property to be maintained as commercial property. Um, when we've rezoned a number of parcels in the town in this general area and in the Rancho Vistoso area, we've done so partly with an argument that it will eventually support the commercial which exists at the corner of First and Tangerine. Um, there was heavy reliance on the fact that these 29 acres would be developed as commercial when the residential was allowed on the southern portion of the property and it was rezoned from low density residential. Um, we've rezoned the Nakoma Sky Complex to allow for a significant amount of residential and that has yet to be developed in that area and will be close to this parcel. Um, there's a commercial lot on the corner of Rancho Vistoso and Vistoso Highlands Drive that was recently commercial, which was rezoned for residential. And that was partly an argument for that was that this would support this greater commercial center at the corner of First and Tangerine. There's a commercial lot on the corner of La Cañada and more that was rezoned for residential. Um, and the big wash was rezoned with significant amounts of residential. And at that time, that argument was that it would support um, this greater commercial center at that corner of First and Tangerine. So a number of those developments are not completed and still have yet to be developed. So those are rezonings that have already taken place, which have yet to come through the pipe in terms of the residents that will be moving into those developments. And we have eliminated a significant amount of neighborhood commercial already from Rancho Vistoso in the support of this larger commercial property at First and Tangerine. Um, the economic impact of, I think if we were to take this argument through to the town, we would result in a lot of our commercial properties being rezoned to high density residential. And I don't know that that would be beneficial to the town as a whole economically. When we had a fiscal impact analysis performed on a proposed annexation and um, it came back and looked at not only what different properties would bring into the town, but also what those properties would cost to the town. It concluded that the net fiscal impact is primarily dependent on the amount of acreage devoted to commercial development and that the cost of municipal services is generally less for non-residential development than for residential development. And the ratio of sales tax generating uses to other types of uses is often the key factor in determining fiscal impacts. And so, you know, that's kind of looking at commercial development is going to provide that, is gonna have a less of a long-term impact on the resources of the town. 